for the sake of all the people you've killed, I'm going to beat you! Hey, what's up guys, we're at 93 here, and this is a review on the YouTube series Dragon Ball Reverse. If you don't know what the series is, this is a what if series created by Sun Nuff and Super Saiyan God Elite, facing from the beginning of Dragon Ball Z all the way to the end of Dragon Ball Z, excluding Battle of Gods. And we got to know what, which does mostly follow the same story arcs, but will have huge twists and added plots on top of it, including Super Saiyan 3 Broly, all using Dragon Ball Raging Blast 2 on the PlayStation 3. The story. The story, I think, is pretty great. Like I said, it follows the normal series plot, but will add huge twists onto it. I do love the story in this, as it does give other characters some freedom and add some spotlight than they did in the original series, much like Yamcha and Tien replacing Gohan and Krillin in the Saiyan arc. The problem I saw with, <laughs> with some of the arcs were that sometimes characters would be kind of tacked on, leaving the story to drag on a bit. All picking up in the next episode, I do find it unnecessary to include them in the first place. The dialogue between characters matches just like the original manga or anime series, making this a very believable story that could have actually taken place in the universe. Very minor points that someone would actually act out of completely out of character. Although there isn't any voice acting, there are subtitles that are color coded with the characters' colors, such as Goku with orange and blue, while Vegeta has blue and black to identify who is talking in that certain scene. A good mentionable that I cannot make into its own category would be the music choice for it, for the series. The music choice is definitely my favorite as it does use music from the Faulkner and the, for the original series, in which I prefer over an orchestrated version, much like the original Japanese version or Kai, which they use Kai, not Kai, the original Japanese opening music for the opening. Art and animation. This can be very controversial between Z fans, as many Z fans prefer graphics to Budokai Tenkaichi 3 over the Raging Blast series. I'm going to take a non-biased route and say, although I prefer the graphics of the first Raging Blast game, the, gra the graphics for Raging Blast 2 were just fine with the series, as many of the things in this game, in terms of gameplay, were very cinematic and helped with facial expressions and cutscenes, or making many major plot points in the series very cinematic for this What If series. Which, and despite using this game, is the best choice for making this series. But sometimes I do bring in games such as uh, Dragon Ball Z Infinite World, Dragon Ball Raging Blast 1, or even Dragon Ball Z Ultimate Tenkaichi to help with cinematics such as people talking or just any other cinematics. The editing is very good in many parts, may have a few hiccups here and there, much like characters getting stretched out or other characters being very skinny due to zooming in. But I really never expected perfect editing going into it, and that's what you should not expect. The really only parts that actually bothered me were very noticeable parts, which rarely happen in the series. In conclusion, Dragon Ball Reverse is a very well-made series that I would recommend to any Dragon Ball fan out there. If you're not a fan of the newer games, such as Raising Blast or Ultimate Tengaichi, you should still check it out and not go in there expecting a perfect series, as you go in this with a story... Um, you should go in there mostly for the story instead of just um, action and animation. So that was my review of Dragon Ball, Dragon Ball Reverse. I'll leave a link in the playlist and <laughs> link to the playlist in the description. If you already saw it, what do you think of it? Let me know in the comments below. If you like this video, make sure you hit the sub with the like button. And make sure to subscribe to become part of the Super Saiyan Army. See you later.